Correct level bombing depends on three components, a good altitude conversion, airspeed conversion and relative wind calculation. All wind calculations are used by where it's blowing from. To calculate where the wind is coming from, you need to take a reciprocal of where the wind is blowing to. For example, if you're heading 360, which is north, the reciprocal is 180, which is south. A reciprocal is the 180 degree reversal in heading, and with practice, you will get to know these pretty quickly. When adjusting for wind, you need to ask, what is your heading? What heading is the wind blowing from? What is the difference between your heading and the wind from? And what is the wind speed? Here is an example. As you can see, your heading is 040 in blue, and the wind is blowing towards heading 300 in red, but that means it's coming from heading 120. So now we look at the difference between your heading and the wind from. So the difference between 040 and 120 is 80 degrees right. This difference is what you input to the wind direction gauge. As you can see here, in order to correct for 80 degrees right, we need to drag the wind icon from the top to the right hand side until 80 is at the top of the dial. Ok, it's enough for theory. Let's see how fast you have to do these calculations in real time. Ok, looking at our target, it's the bridge down the river. The wind for this mission is blowing towards 020 at 3 meters per second. Therefore, the wind is blowing from heading 200. Ok, we're in straight level flight, cruising at 85 miles an hour. Now we begin our turn, and we don't want our speed to drop below 85 miles an hour. This is so we don't have to worry about getting back up to cruise speed and waiting for that acceleration bubble to completely stop in order to do our speed calculation. If we had a front gunner in multiplayer, he could tell us when to roll out, but instead we have to guess it. Then we roll out, go to the front, stick it in auto level, and then we have a good zoom in and see where the bridge is relative to us. Now that we're straight in level, we can look at our altitude. And that there is 5400 feet. So by converting feet to meters, we times 5400 by 0 0.3, which is 1620. So we input that on our dial. Now our acceleration bubble on the left is stable, so we go to our speed. We're at 86 miles an hour, times 86 times 1.6, and we get 137.6. And we input that value into our speed gauge. Alright, now we need to do the wind calculation. Now we go back into the cockpit and look at the compass for our heading. We're heading 318 degrees. So the difference between 318 and the wind from of 200 is 118 degrees left. So we add 3 meters per second to the wind, and then we click and drag the wind icon left until 118 is at the top. Now because we're pretty much on target, we just need to make minute adjustments. So we're off to the left a bit, so we need to bring the aircraft to the right. And now we'll just wait until the bridge comes into view. Okay, so it's off to the right, so let's turn it right a bit. I'm going to hit the center, so we'll start centering it now. So we bring it across. That's drifting right a bit, so a little bit left. And then back to center. Now at this moment I'm holding the left mouse button down on the control, so I can just go left and right as needed to bring it on the center. And then once the crosshairs are on the target, I'll drop the bomb. And bombs away. Okay, so I dropped one 250 pound bomb. So we'll go to external and watch it fall. It just takes some practice, but this bombing will become second nature. And that's how you perform level bombing in the Hanley page.